Hello everybody, we've got a lion here, he's hunting a little group of wildebeest here. We're just going to go live to Facebook everyone. It's not the best position, but it'll have to do. We're just trying to see what's going on here. You can see that wildebeest in front can see the lion. Ideally, we'd want to be round the other side of them. They're coming towards him. What is going on here? I wonder if we're not in the middle of an ambush. This is very special stuff. This is the fifth group of lions we've found since we've been in this very small area. That has got nothing to do with my own skill and everything to do... Oh, yeah, we can see a lion. Hello, good, good morning, everyone, for those who just joined us on Facebook. We've got a male lion here engaged in a hunt. We think he's hunting. Those wildebeest are certainly convinced he's hunting. They're running away, but they keep turning to face him. And quite ex what he's doing, I'm not sure. This area seems to be so full of lions at the moment. There are two females behind us. Well, I think we saw him and three others yesterday. And he looks like he could eat. Now, we're coming to you live from the Masai Mara. Dawn broke about an hour ago. And we've followed two prides since the break of the dawn. Let's just move forward a bit and see if he doesn't get on with an actual hunt here. I think he might just sort of slowly harass those wildebeest until one of them turns to face him and then he'll have a go at it. But he's definitely after something. Let's keep following him. Ideally, we want to be the other side of the prey, but we don't want to give them a fright. He is in prime condition, a young male. He's got blood on his right elbow, and I think he's been hunting all night. He may be going towards that termite mound to get a vantage on what else is around here for him to try and have a go at. That's exactly what he's doing. Let's just keep an eye out here. The plains around us are covered in wildebeest. And all along the fringes of the Mara River, that's what that big thick forest you can see is, all along there, there'll be small bits and pieces in and about the forest. Now you see he's gonna pop up on top there, stick his head over the top and see what he can see. Now, this is not a hungry lion. Look at him. Look how clever he is. See how he sticks his head up to the top, flattens his ears? <laughs> All right, that little group of wildebeest has run a long way away from here, so I don't think that he's about to go on the hunt again. Let me just, well, I, he might... He might just now. I'm just going to scan the area quickly to see if I can see anything he might eat. There is an impala disappearing off into the red fringing woodlands. But I think he's after something bigger than that. Unfortunately, I can see the wildebeest too. Um, if you look straight over the top of my head, Dave, there's a, you'll just see a line of them. Yeah, if you just scan to the right from there, you'll see them. That's it, you're on them now. There they are, waiting. Fascinating stuff. Now, ordinarily, I tell you what, at this time of the year, I would have said there was no chance at all that this was going to result in some kind of a successful hunt for this lion, but that is not the case here. During the migration season, the rules go out the window. Cats hunt when they aren't hungry. The wildebeest react in ways that are, well, 
I would describe them as a panicked gormlessness some of the time. So this could easily result in some kind of successful hunt. I think we must give it another minute and a half or so before we decide whether or not we should keep broadcasting to Facebook.